What's good, YouTube? This your crazy, and I'm back with another video. Yo, hey man, uh, we got a car video for you. English, all right. We got a car video for today for you guys. I got my 1996 Volkswagen Cabrio, 96 or 97. I always forget the year. Um, it has really bad damage on the top, and I don't want to pay $800 to replace the whole thing. So I'm gonna see what I can do for $25. That's how I went out to the store. I got picked up some products. Uh, we got. Let's see. Some Gorilla Spray Adhesive. Boom. This was like $12. It sticks on basically everything. And it's waterproof or moisture resistant. Whatever the fuck that means. If it peels off, it peels off. I really don't care. It's $12. Here we got Gorilla Tape. The water resistant one. Because it rains a lot here. I had to get everything that was water resistant. The top is supposed to be water resistant, so... Got the Gorilla Waterproof Tape. This was about $8, $9. And then the actual top canvas part that I got. This was only $5 for a yard. I don't, I don't think you guys can see how big it is. But it's folded up right now. And this is only $5 for a yard. It has a the little vinyl part and then in the inside. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. The lighting is bad. Inside, this is a waterproof fabric that it has. And we're gonna try to repair it by, by ourselves, this is me. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the damage, and then I'm gonna, I have to clean off the thing. All right. All right. As you guys can see, it's been taped off pretty much because it rains so much in Florida. It's a rainy season also. It rains so much in Florida. Thank you, Florida. It rained so much in Florida that we had to tape it up over it so that water wouldn't leak into the car and start rusting and stuff. And let me show you guys the damage. It's a lot. Dang, it's in there. Roll down the window. But you guys can't see that yet. That's, that's... What the fuck? It got worse? I feel like it got worse. Jesus. Oh, man, there's little stuff. All right. I don't know if you guys are ready to see this. This is bad. I feel like I should replace my whole top. But I don't want to. $800 is a lot of money. Uh... Check this out. Fuck. It's been sitting in the sun. I don't know what they tried to fix this with before, but it, they did a pretty bad job. It hardened, so every time you drop the top, it would crack and crease. But you can see inside my car. Say hello to my interior. Um, also over here, this one's just, this was a little bit better to look at, but you can also see right through you see my seats in there I don't know but this is the really bad spot that's the really bad spot I mean and it has just a little tear right here that one's easy I don't know if I'm aiming at it well yeah, that one's pretty easy but first thing we got to do is try to get this old adhesive off scrape it off and I'm gonna get back to you guys on that, how that goes. All right, we're back. Um, I just washed, and I used this wire brush to get off the old adhesive that was on there. I did as best as I could without like really hurting the top that's already there. So I just washed it off with some, just soap and water, car soap and water. Uh, I got a lot of red lint over here from that glove. I probably should have used like a brush or something. That's where I messed up. Over here, you see a lot more of that red stuff, but it's it's smoother, most definitely, than when I first showed you guys. 
Um, I think I'm gonna find a brush and then wipe it down for right now. But it, it's looking decent. We're on our way. Still got a lot more to do. All right, we're back and I just finished washing it. I went over it again with a wire brush. I just dried it a little bit. I hosed it off and I just dried it as much as I could. Gonna wait a little bit till we start messing with the Gorilla Tape and the Gorilla Glue. That's what it looks like now. It's way cleaner than before. It's a bit smoother, but it's almost dry. And I'm gonna be back when I come at y'all with the tape, okay? All right, we're back and I got the Gorilla Tape out of the package. I'm gonna show you guys why I chose to go with this Gorilla Tape. Um, one, it, it's just perfect for the moisture. It says it instantly seals out. Uh, it's four inches wide and it comes with 10 feet. Um, I used it specifically because I saw this picture because it can fix car roofs. And as you can see, we need to fix a car roof. But it, it just sticks to anything. Vinyl is my main material that I'm trying to go on. But this is exactly what I needed right here. I'm going to try to measure out how much pieces I'm going to need. This should be fairly easy. should be like two pieces. Bomb, bomb. Right over this. And then on the underside, I'm going to also do two pieces to block off any leaks. Because this one goes right through. This one is a little bit better. It doesn't go all the way through my car. This one is the... the leak child the problem leak child so gonna try to get this on there I'm gonna try on this side first then this side cuz I need someone to help me with this side it has to be like tensioned properly need someone in the car but that's the second side we're going with I'm gonna get back to y'all after I've finished at least one all right guys, as you can see, I pretty much sealed off this hole. I don't know if I'm gonna show y'all before and after in this angle, but it's sealed off on the top side. I think I'm gonna get on the other side before I start that side. Haven't gotten there yet, but I did it pretty clean. Try to get as close to the glass as possible. There wasn't much to grab on on this bottom side, but it's mainly, it's, all, it's as close as I could have gotten it without it being straight through the window, like right here is a soft spot. But the thing is, when I seal it on the bottom side, it should clear up. I'm gonna show you guys the inside right now. All right, so the inside of the car, I, th yeah. That's the tape, and this is the ripped top. This is basically what I'm gonna do, is put the tape on this bar, Come on, lighting. On this bar and up on top of this. And I'm gonna try to push the tape as close together as possible. So I can touch, cause glue on glue is like the strongest bond I can have here. But I gotta clean this off first. So I'm gonna show you guys the finished product after I've cleaned and placed the tape. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> We're back. I've been out here all day. Struggling. I mean, I've been taking a lot of breaks, but we did get a lot done. Uh, we just did, we patched up the outside. I forgot to record like half of my tutorial or plan or whatever. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the finished product right now. None of the glue is done. None of the glue is dry. Uh, we're not, it's, the process is not fully done. We have, it's gonna have a lot of re-gluing. I know it's just a temporary thing though. Right now, I've sprayed the hose on it while the glue is wet. I probably shouldn't have done that because the glue is going to take a while to dry. But I sprayed the glue on there. And it's looking... Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? What's up, Tyron? I was just calling to see what was up. I was bored out here working on my car. Remember how I told you I was going to fix my top without spending $800? That's what I did. All right, back. All right, the camera's about to die. I'm gonna show y'all what I was working on. All right, here. 
we put that little vinyl wrap five dollars and I got a square yard of this put that little vinyl wrap and we sprayed our gorilla adhesive glue on both sides so we played it on the kit the top first and then the wrap the what you call it not the cap wrap what you call it the canvas then we sprayed this side we did the same thing on this side this one took a whole lot more measuring uh, as you can see the glue is still not dry had to do some makeshift stuff for the crease right there but this glue is holding up pretty well in the sun in the sun heat and this is like the worst it's gonna get in Florida so I think I went with a good option as you can see we have some edges that are poking out these are flush but there's some edges that are open those are the only things I'm worried about this one makes it only a temporary solution it's not gonna stay down with the top you know, it's high speed wings, regular driving shit, you feel me? But this is how the final product came out. I, I'm pretty happy with it, because I just want, wanted to get it on the road and I didn't want to spend 800 bucks. This was $25. Everything that I got for this, $25 and what I had in the house. We're also doing something on the interior, let me show you guys. Turn my music off. About to get copyrighted. The interior, we're working on getting a little uh, lighting, 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 focus. There you go. That little cloth that's separated, we're trying to get that fully connected flush so you don't see the space between the window and the, um, the top. It's going to come out flush. I'm not doing it today because it's very freaking hot. I'll probably do it later tonight. And um, this is all I wanted to do to get my car road ready, okay? So now I can drive it on the road. Hit me up on smoke. I am gleaming. This is hard work. This is what hard work looks like. But if you guys enjoyed that video, let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, car is about to be ready to go in like three days. I'm hoping three days because we're working on a downpipe yesterday and today. Um, top is about done. If you guys want car videos, let me know. I'll take you for a car tour, my first drive with it, um, stuff like that. Uh, I am working on more videos and vlogs like this. But that's going to wrap up this video for today. If you guys want to see anything else, follow my Twitter, BrickBreaker underscore. Then follow my Instagram, Cray.J. Follow my Twitch, CrayJTTV, and that's about it, really. That's going to be the end of this video to the next one. Y'all be easy. I'm out.